Oh, you reach the dock without any incident uh, and board the rowboat. The water is calm and placid, perfect for rowing. You set out, wondering if you'll find any strange islands or creatures in the lake. Like a sudden, like a hidden emerald jewel, a small island appears in the distance. You wager that you're somewhere near the center of this lake. How coincidental. You row closer, eager to get out of the boat and stretch your legs. The rowboat grounds itself in the moist earth of the island, coming to a dead stop. You climb out, noting that the island is little more than a raised mound of earth and grass, with a small tree perched atop its apex. You approach the tree and note that its bark is unusually smooth. Every leaf of the tree is particularly vibrant, as a, is particularly vibrant, bright green with life and color. You reach out to touch the bark and circle around it, noting a complete lack of knots and di or discoloration. As you finish the circle, you are surprised to see the silhouette of a woman growing from the bark. The transformation stops, exposing the front half of a woman um, from the waist up. You give a start when she opens her eyes, revealing totally white irises, the only part of her of her not textured with bark. You seem surprised to see me, champion. I suppose that is inevitable. Your origin is not of Mareth, our land, and few, save for the demons, remember me, says the tree. You take a step back, amazed to find such a creature, apparently uncorrupted. Feeling a bit confused, you introduce yourself and ask who she is. Me, she asks, I am the life goddess Mareth. I am Mareth, for my roots touch every part of it, or I was before they came. You suggest the demons? She nods and continues. The demons were, much, were once a tribe of magic blessed humans, living in the mountains. They had everything they could ever want, peace, love, and the power to change reality. But they grew dissatisfied, as men often do, and craved more. They began using their magics to alter their bodies, seeking greater pleasure than ever before. In time, they became obsessed with it. I let them be, believing their folly to be limited to their own village. I was wrong. Well, I focused on preventing famines and ensuring peace between the other villages. The humans twisted themselves into something else, something demonic. They gave up their souls, crystallizing it into, ma into a magical energy source. Of course, they, didn't, they could not be satisfied with consuming the power of their own souls. They wanted more. They always want more. You nod in understanding, paying close attention to the tree goddess as she explains just how the realm has fallen so far. They have come pouring... They came pouring out of the mountains, picking off village, villages left and right. I lent many villages my power, but none had the strength to stand alone, and none would band together, resentful of their racial differences as they were. All, all were consumed, enslaved, or filled with corruption. My people were cut off from me, either by their new tainted outlook or by the, by the demon's own machinations. I was able to hide a few places from the enemy's sight, but I do not know how long it will last. She sighs heavily. You notice the bark of her nipple stiffening. Her brow creases with something approximating worry as she continues. They know of me. My power originally kept them far from the shores of the lake, but they seek to corrupt me, to make me like them. They use magic and industry to trap the pure rains in the clouds around their mountain, starving me, and in its place they spill their tainted sexual fluids. For years now, my furthest reaches have been um, bathed in their vile cum. While my power is great, I cannot resist forever. Um, my reach has dwindled to a little, little more than this lake. Parts of me have already fallen, taking the surrounding life with them. Taking the surrounding life with them. I do not know how much longer I can endure. Even now, the desire to mate with you rises within me. She practically begs, "Please, champion, you must help me." The demons have a factory at the foot of the mountains. It produces much of the fluid they use to taint me. It could find a, if you could find a way to shut it down, I, all of Mareth, might stand a chance. You nod understanding. She commands, now go. There is nothing to be gained by your presence here. Return if you manage to close that vile place. And so, yeah, um, the mountains are a bit of a tough area, so I'm probably going to grind some more. But um, let me save this. And yeah. I hope you all have a nice day. Actually, let's see what's in the mountains. Maybe I'll luck out. Maybe I'll come across level one enemies. Or I'll, I'll find the factory right away. Let's see. An imp leaps out from behind the rock and attacks. Okay, I mean, I already passed 15 minutes, so this is going to be more than one video. But um, I already fought an imp, so this is just kind of routine. 
Um, yeah. Well, I'll just keep on exploring the mountain and grinding a bit because I'm only at level three. And yeah, the factory's some serious business. If you die in the factory, you're dead for good. But um, have a nice day, everyone.